we will be looking in the poem. He started reading about generals at a very young age. He was born in Corsica, which had declared independence from the Republic of Genoa in 1755. But the thing is, nobody really recognized it. It was an unrecognized state and was sailed back by France in the year of 1769. So, France bought the island just in time for Napoleon to become a French in 1769. Now, Napoleon started reading about generals at a young age, and he wanted to be just like Alexander the Great, the national ruler. He wanted to be not so great, but still have a dull great next to his name. And he did, but that comes later. Napoleon's childhood was pretty tumultuous because he hated his dad and loved his mom, even though his mom was the one abusing him. He only hated his dad because you know, his dad loved the friend. He wanted to rise up the ranks as a military leader, but he couldn't. Why? Well, at the time, since the monarchy was still ruling, he needed he, he needed talent. But he was a minor part of the Italian monarchy, not even major. So there was no way he could do anything about it. So, even if you drew a freaking ding-dong on the paper, if you were a descendant of the Marquis de la Fufa yet, then you would pass. Now, that is why Napoleon was clawed from rising up the ranks. But something was coming. So basically, we're not covering the front for music because that's a whole nother thing. But basically, peasants got angry, all other classes got angry, then the French king appeases all other classes, then poor people get even more angry, then poor people start rioting, then poor people start even more rioting, and eventually the French monarchy collapsed. And Napoleon was a major player in all of this because Napoleon just wanted some military ramps. So he was like, why are we screaming, but still fought for the revolution. Anyways, that's going to be the end of his childhood for now. Tomorrow, we will be looking at his rise to a military general and how he became first consulate.